It is December, which means it is time for breeding goats here on the farm. I live in northern Minnesota, and I like to breed later in the winter than most, and so I'll talk to you a little bit about what to look for to know if your goat is in heat. I'm Kelsey from RefnTumbleFarmhouse.com, and every single week I share videos about farming, family, food, and fortitude here on our five acre homestead in northern Minnesota. So, like I said, we tend to breed our goats here in December ish, which is a little bit late. Uh, dairy goats a lot of times will come into heat any time of the year, which is nice. A lot of people like to breed their goats so they do kid in the winter time. I think primarily that's just for, uh, it's good for pesticide resistance because there aren't a lot of worms or things you gotta deal with that time of year. But for me, we really don't have a setup. We just have a pole barn here, as you can see, that is of course rough and tumble, hence the name. And it's really hard to have kids in the winter. Last year our buck got in with our doe must have been sometime in September, I guess. And we had end of January kids, which I have a video I can link to about how I kept those kids warm. And she was a terrible mother, so I had to take care of and bottle feed these kids in the depths of winter. And it was just not something that we are set up for or something that I really wanna have to do. So goats are actually pretty similar to cows in that they have a lot of the same things that you're looking for when they are in heat. So I will show you here a video of one of our does that I had in with our buck. The main things that you will see is tail wave or flagging it's sometimes called. That is usually a sure sign of heat. Now you can see in this video too that I'm showing you that she is not super interested in him uh, which is not uncommon if you're introducing a new buck. He had been away for a few weeks and so she was just not into him really at the time and so sometimes they might do a little bit of headbutting, a little bit of chase but eventually here which of course I didn't catch on video she does stand for him and that's something else you can look for in your goats is a standing heat which means they are definitely fertile and the egg is in the right place that it can get fertilized and they can get pregnant. Some other things that you can look for to tell if your goat is in heat is they're just gonna be really obnoxious, some of them anyway. We have Nubians, they tend to be pretty vocal goats and so my husband actually is really helpful in letting me know when the goats are in heat because he will start to complain one day about how obnoxious the goats are and how he's sick of having goats and I'll go, oh, they're probably in heat today. <laughs> so listening for them to be yelling and kind of running along their fence line or being stupid, especially if you have a buck on the property, that's another good sign. Another thing to look for, uh, which I talked about also in my cow video, is to just get up close and personal with their vulva. It's not, not a fun thing to talk about. And I talk about it a lot because we have cows and goats, and especially around breeding season, every single day I'm checking their hind end. It will look typically a little bit more swollen and puffy. You also might have some signs of discharge. All again, really good indicators that your goat is in heat. Now here, just to show you when a goat is not in heat, uh, I, I did this just to be an example. I let our buck out with one of our does and you can see she wants absolutely nothing to do with this guy. So that is another really good way you can tell. If you're brand new to this and you have a way to just introduce your doe to your buck and then separate them again, Easily, our, our buck's a pretty, uh, pretty kind gentleman and we're able to just deal with him easily. So this is something, if I have a doe who's really hard to tell, I just let the two of them together for a quick second in the morning. If she runs away like that, then clearly she is not ready. And so then I just separate the two again. So that's one way you can tell too, uh, is how interested they are in the buck. Another great way you can tell if your goat is in heat is if you have a weather. So we have this little cutie pie. This is Ray, and he is just a, basically a pet. He's a weather. He doesn't have a lot of use except for, even though he doesn't have the bits and pieces to get the girls pregnant, he doesn't know that. So when they are in season, a lot of times I will see him trying to mount the does. So having a weather on hand can be really helpful to tell if your goats are in heat. Now goats are in heat for usually just about 24 hours. So when you see those indicators, you need to get them with the buck right away. And if you don't have a buck, artificial insemination is something that you could look into. I haven't looked into it too much because I know it's going to involve me storing semen on the farm and I just it's a whole other thing I don't want to deal with so we, we keep a buck around. And your doe is going to be pregnant for between 140 and 150 days just like with people and other animals about a week or two on either side is totally normal uh, and so that that equals out to about five months. Hopefully that was helpful for you if you are new to goat ownership <laughs> and hopefully you are able to get all your doughs bred. You can always find new videos here every single week about farming, family, food, and fortitude here at our Rough and Tumble Farmhouse.